How many of you have seen the new feature which we launched last week, FII long shot ratio? I said I'm going to be explaining you all in a live session, correct? How many of you have seen that FII long shot ratio? Have you got a gist of it? What is that which we have done? Nobody has presented to you in this manner, but we thought we will do that to all of you. How to interpret this? Has anybody got a clue? What is that which you saw? And anybody got a clue on this? What is this FI long shot ratio? Ah, that is one person who clearly said green means buy, red means I'll sell. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this is based on the FI long shot ratio, which we have given it on the Nifty based on the futures. So what it gives you, if you look at the dates here, we have added this date every day. Though we have the FI DIA data, sometimes it may be uh, like in a misleading or sometimes people feel, Shiva, since I'm not getting it in the graphical format, I'm not able to see it. Every day you're giving me bullish, bearish and everything. I know this much of OI positions is getting created in the futures and other things. But how will I be able to make more sense whatever the data that is being coming in like this? This is the FI derivative data. You are seeing like in a graphical format and other things. But what if, if I tell you how you needed to be looking to view this data in a long term? If you are a positional player, first we will look at from a positional point of view. If you are a positional player, you needed to know how the FIs are maintaining their longs or the short. So if you look at it, currently the FIs are long in the futures close to 77%. If you would have seen the data a few days back, it was at around 83, 84, 85. If you have seen it in the last two years, they have been never so bullish on the markets except what they have been seeing it in the last few days. This is a clear sign that the FIs are giving you. Shiva, whenever we are going against the market participants, we aggressively go Many people, after the budget, were thinking that this market is going to be making a new fall because it is not in a stable government and everything. So I'm going to be taking a huge short position. But what the FIs did, they completely reversed their position within a few days. And one more clue that they are giving is they are make, not making any new low. On this particular day, their short ratio was 10, 12, and almost 12 to 13. Guys, remember, FIs have never been uh, so aggressively short below 12. Similarly, they have never been so aggressively long above 80. So this is the first time we are seeing both these scenarios playing out in a quick time. Okay. Now, as we are heading into the event, are we at the lower circuit or at the higher circuit? I would say we are at the higher circuit. Considering the way the FIs have completely fooled the participants, from a big reversals from here, you guys always remember if you're a positional player and if you're seeing this kind of a chart, which is a very good sign that you can continue to hold your position. There are players who play for 5,000 to 10,000 odd points or sometimes 2,000 to 3,000 odd points. All these guys look for this particular chart. Whether their FIs are like trying to build the positions on the upside or they're trying to drag the market here. Every time, whenever you see a big, move up happening you can clearly see the market have given a clear up move and more the time it is starting to fall you can clearly see the markets have started to falter as well you can see one more round here the falter is happening and from here once the move is happening on the upside you can clearly see you're just waiting for the 50 this is your break even point once that 50 is broken you can clearly see as a positional player it is going to be giving you a large move and you will be able to see the nifty high open low close and the uh what to say what has been the range for that particular day so this if it is not getting convinced then nothing can convince you this is especially for the positional player and if you look at this the last three months data whenever they were trying to go above this particular territory there is a profit booking which is happening this what is the sign now is it showing you that I'm going to be continuing my up move or I'm going to be continuing my down? This particular current juncture, it is in an area wherein it is waiting for the news. 
once the news is over if it is not convincing i am expecting this to be falling pretty quick if it is falling every time whenever the markets have made a new like in especially the new long or the short ratio i have seen a significant correction happening okay i have seen a significant correction happening let's see this has not happened in the last two years in fact last three years there never been at above that 80 or 82 mark for the first time they have gone above that particular territory there is a huge huge possibility if the fi is wanted to book their profits at these levels these are all temporary positions or temporary uh, money that they would have been doing it the reason is if you look at the long term in the last 2 3 years fi has been like a net short they have been continuously selling their positions their portfolio and everything it's purely because of the mutual fund money and the domestic uh, investors who have been pumping in the market these are the guys who are keeping the markets higher so i would expect the markets to make a big move either uh, today tomorrow or in the upcoming week we can expect something major happening so all is going to be depending upon how fm is going to be presenting the budget and the weather budget as something which is for the corporates something for the public something for the economy mm-hmm. and if it is going to be interesting for them then yes we might see some more upside happening before we make a correction but even if there is a slight bit of a miss slight bit of a disappointment we can expect some major corrections on the way okay so that is something we can do this so this particular data will be available to you all of you end of the day okay so it is not a live data so this data currently it is available on evod every day because this particular data is not sent by exchanges or anyone during the market hours so it is it can be compiled and shown it to you by end of the day and if you are an intraday player imagine once you see a big move happening like this i would know the trend i would know the trend either it can be like in a consolidation day or a day which can go higher then automatically i will go along with that rather than going against the trend first first and foremost is getting the trend in the mind then the data the oi data then the third thing which i will be looking at is on the 3 minute or 5 minute chart which i have been looking at for me to know whether the market is going to be moving up or on the downside based on that we will take a final scenario now at this current juncture the market is clearly showing me shiva at this time we have made a move now we have started to do a tanker on the downside which is clearly saying whatever the high which we had we had plenty of hopes and we have started to book our profits so if the long ratio is coming down that is a clear sign that they are unwinding their positions and the market is market can keep faltering from here now one more thing once it falls below the 50 mark you can see a big fall happening this happened couple of uh, days back so here can we expect to see a big one guys you can clearly see they were already net short as they were going into the election result okay so it is you and me who were trying to say that like you know and what they did is the pre uh, the what to say the exit poll day they tried to like and create some positions and they made a big move the following day from there they have taken it completely so it is always the fis who have made the markets move big either on the upside or on the downside though we all keep saying that retail investors are putting in their money and they are the ones who are holding the markets higher and so on but in the fno market if they wanted to make the move either on the upside or on the downside it's always been the fis who have been able to control the markets either on the upside or on the downside so that's the reason the fi long short ratio is going to be very vital to track whether it is trading 50% and above or 50% and below and based on that we will be able to take our trading decisions as well so at this current juncture they are clearly trying to exit their positions and you can clearly see some profit booking which has been happening in the last 2 3 days if this is not giving you a clue for you to do a profit booking then i don't know what else can give you based on the data 